Hello, it's me again, hot on the trail of that lag monster. Have you ever wanted to know if the region you're in is to blame for the lag you're getting? Or if you have your own region, how do you check that it's running smoothly? On Tuesday, Patch Linden very kindly met up with me to answer all my questions and he gave me some useful hints and tips and things to consider when developing or running a region. And just before we hand over to Patch, if you enjoy this vlog, please give it a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Here's what happened when I met up with Pat. I've got a homestead region here. How do you check that your region is running smoothly? Uh, one of the best ways that I've always kind of felt um, works for checking region performance is to use the statistics bar in the viewer. Um, there's a couple of different ways you can go about getting to it. Um, for PC users, Control Shift One uh, okay. is the keyboard shortcut for it. Um, but it's also located up underneath um, uh, the advanced menu in the viewer if you have it turned on. Um, and I think for for Mac users, it's Command Shift One. And um, y usually, having a, a good look at that, um, there's a knowledge base article that's actually really helpful that explains. Um, what all of these numbers uh, and statistics and stuff mean uh, yeah. in the panel, but uh, yeah, the the general rule of thumb is um, if your time dilation on the region and your your simulator FPS is running at like 45 FPS and the time dilation is as close to 99 as possible, which is kind of perfect, um, you know the region's doing pretty well. Anytime yeah. the simulator FPS falls down below 40, um, sometimes even the 35 range, uh, you might start to feel. Um, you know, an issue going on with the region, like, you know, that's causing a degradation of performance, whether that's being caused by, uh, you know, script utilization or physics utilization, uh, people teleporting in and out, you actually will see these numbers oscillate because of how busy uh, the back end of the, the host becomes uh, to complete a task like that or crossing region boards. Um, you know, you'll see these numbers uh, kind of oscillate with that as well. Um, but that's kind of where I always start to look um, and just to say, oh, yeah, you know, how's the region running? Um, and of course, a couple of other good statistics to look at even for your own personal connection benefit is for your for your own connection purposes to to itself. If you look at the uh, ping time on the simulator and packet loss, um, that actually is kind of a, a, a health check on your network connection to us. Um, you know, you, the lower the, the ping time to the simulator, um, the better. Uh, you know, if, if you're seeing anything above 200 milliseconds, you're probably on a very latent connection. Um, and packet loss should always be seeing any measure of packet loss to the simulator. You're, you're dropping information coming and going to and from Second Life, um, which, you know, can basically connection laggy. Right. My ping is not always around. 150 but that's probably because i'm in the uk so right, that's yeah, kind of like for, normal for me yeah exactly and and that and that may be fine right normally you don't start to feel the effects until it gets above 200 mm. um and and at that the the effects may not be very perceivable you might detect it walking like the reaction time between hitting the forward error on your keyboard and the time that you actually see your avatar respond with yeah move, you know will increase as that time increases so that's nothing to do with the region, that's all to do with your right. connection. Yeah. Right. So if the region's oh. like performing below 45 frames per second, does that mean it's okay? Do you, do you have to look at what scripts are on it, the region or? It can be. And you still like feel said, a bit lag, yeah. Yeah, you may or may not, right? You know, I, I, I typically, whenever I go and look at region performance issues, um, I used to kind of detect a perceivable difference in how the region is handling the load at around 35. Um, and with that, you'll also see the time dilation dip down to like 0.80. So when those two numbers both fall kind of below my personal benchmark, 35 and 80, yeah. uh, you know, the region might be starting to show the signs of having a bit of a struggle. So when um, people, some people, when you go onto their sims, as they will take all your scripts off and um they delete all the scripts that are on the sims region sorry <laughs> is that going to make a difference even if it's running it at 45 yeah 
Yep, it, it still can, um, because the more you pile onto it, the cumulative effect it has, and it's twofold. There's there's another statistic here that we don't see, and that's the memory utilization of the region, um, and that's something that we see on the back end, and uh, you know, every script that runs in Second Life uses a piece of, of you know, a bit of memory on, on the actual simulator host itself, and the more scripts that are running, the more memory utilization, utilization that's happening. Um, and what we can, what we sometimes see is while the region might be running pretty good uh, in Second Life, if not even perfect, we sometimes will see like really high memory utilization because everything's running smoothly. Maybe there's just nobody there, um, but yeah. those scripts running are still using memory. And when that memory utilization starts to go up, it can actually start to degrade the region's performance faster as you then start to add people to it, for example. On the statistics, you have um, scripts, scripts run and script events. What do those mean? Is, is the percentage of utilization of the overall um, uh, amount of, of simulator capability that we set aside for them to run. So when they're running, you know, 80%, 90%, 100%, they're running at full speed. Right. And script events is how many actual script um, events are firing per second. Um, and so the higher the number uh, of scripts that are firing per second, the worse it's for the region. Is that the same for script time and spare time, which is a bit further down? Uh, it's very similar. So yeah. the amount of spare time that a region has is the overall, like, it's, it's basically the balance of time that's not being used by the entire total frame time of the region. So the total frame time of the region is basically the amount of time that the region has, you know, in its yeah. capability to actually spend to process all of the events in the time list below it. So that's the 22, um, yeah. Right, so it's always kind of around 22. And then your spare time is 17 because there's very little time being taken away from anything. What else will it affect the region? Does the content, what you've got out, does that affect the region at all? Or is very it just, little. yeah, okay. The content itself in the region has very little effect on the performance and the actual running of the region. Um, setting aside scripts, right? So, mm -hmm. I'm so it's really all about the scripts and it, what it's using up on the server. Um, the, the two biggest things that degrade region performance are us um, and physics, uh, typically. So like if you have a bunch of people in a region that are moving around on a set of objects because, you know, yeah. and things like that, like where we're sat, um, you know, simulator has to do a lot of calculation work to exact and basically generate, you know, the action of us walking on a solid object. So that can actually start to chew up some performance time on the region if you have a whole bunch of avatars standing on a floor, for example. Right. So if they're sitting down, it takes up, I'm not moving, it takes up it less resources. Correct, as yeah. long as you're not animated. What would you say was um, the maximum amount of avatars on a region? I know it's capable of, like, well, on a homestead, it's only 20, isn't it? Um, but on a full region, you can get up to 100. I mean, a region wouldn't be able to, would it be able to function? with that many avatars on it? Um, you know, again, kind of based on the fact that, you know, people are going to come in, they're going to sit down, and they're really not going to do a whole bunch of moving around, but the region generally will handle it without an issue. Um, the more walking around and stuff people do, like when you think of a shopping event, um, yeah, and all of that coming and going, and even secondarily to what's going on in the region, what's happening outside of the region, can also have a pretty big impact on the region. So people continuing to try to teleport into a region that's full for like an event um, can actually hurt the region a bit because then it has to spend some time dealing with telling people, I'm too full, you can't come here. So it's actually kind of oh, a, right. an interesting issue. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Duh, I didn't realize that, yeah. Um, so another question uh, was that Chris was asking me the other day, if it takes the scripts out, say for a texture script, it deletes all the scripts that are just, you know, for changing textures on an object, would that make much of a difference to the region? Um, 
it can, because a whole bunch of scripts piling up and running cumulatively will always degrade a region's performance or be at the ready to once you start piling in other activities, like I mentioned before. Yeah. With, you know, avatars and movies physics you know it all becomes cumulative so you're better off deleting them once you don't need them it is if you absolutely yeah. don't need them it's always better to take them out i've got a question from one of my subscribers <laughs> she says this is from ria c she says what causes more lag regarding avatars or call scripts that are worn is this the same thing can you cause yourself lag by what you have on or does lag come from the Avis around you? That's a pretty complex question. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, of course, from a region standpoint, a script is a script is a script. Whether yeah. it's on you or in the region on in a tree, it doesn't matter to the region, right? If the region is handling that load without issue, you know, then there's no performance issue. Most people, when they perceive that they are, and I'll just, I'm going to air quote, lag, um, it's actually coming from you and your viewer, um, and it's because of everything that the viewer has to do to render what's going on around you. So a lot of it's actually visual, not yeah. actually even. Yeah, a lot of lot of times people are always blaming the region that they're on and not themselves. <laughs> right, exactly, and it, it doesn't necessarily even have to be yourself, as in your avatar is you know the sole contributor. It's everything that you're seeing around you too. Um, one of the things that has been a traditional uh, kind of pain point in visual performance is alpha textures. Um, the viewer uh, has a hard time drawing and rendering alpha textures, especially when they are overlapping with one another, and there's many of them. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. It takes a lot of work to get all of that rendering down precisely. Um, so that's why uh, what I sometimes hear people say is, you know, I go into this region and there's just a ton of trees and it just, it lags me to death. Well, that's why. Ah, oh. yeah, I didn't realize about the alpha textures. Also on mesh bodies before bomb came in, they would have um, alpha layers to put appliers onto their bodies. Mm -hmm. Three of them <laughs> yep. per avatar. So, yeah. It's a wonder Second Life runs at all, really. <laughs> <laughs> so the over overlapping alphas will affect region performance. Viewer performance. Viewer performance. Yeah. yeah the only the only way you Viewer can see. Yeah. The only way you can see what kind of you know memory utilization that a scripted object has is to actually have it somewhere where you can see it in a region. Um, so the unfortunate side of that is is you don't know until you have it. Um, and you put it down in the region and you go into the um, the object tools on the region and actually looked at the look at the reutilization script, the object itself and all of is that. The is that under region details? Uh, if you go into the region estate menu, yeah, and then uh, go to the debug menu. Yeah. And then go to um, get top scripts. You can find it there. Get top scripts. Or you can go to yeah. build uh, region objects and find it that way um, and uh, look at the memory from there. But top scripts is typically, typically your most helpful tool in finding what is your worst performer give you a list yeah. of the top top utilizing scripts in the region so if you're on a homestead region that sh is that shared by three other homesteads on the one server am i correct in thinking um, it that? can be shared by up to 32. really yeah wow so if if any of those other regions are heavily scripted does that have a knock-on effect to your region or is it all totally separate it, it absolutely can yep and that's why we we watch the regions very closely, and um, we have even been known to go and make house calls um, and talk to people about uh, the utilization, or in some cases, overutilization of um, their share of the resources. So, doing a region restart, if you 
you know, regions like degrading in performance, doing a region restart could like clear those problems? It can, um, but that is generally also a misnomer because usually restarting the region doesn't do anything but clear regions VRAM. And um, if whatever is there is causing the VRAM to, let's say, go into um, an excess usage state, it's just going to come right back after restart. Yeah, because a lot of people say, oh, I'm lagging. Let's start restart the region. That'll sort it out. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't really change much. Region goes down and it comes right back up on the same simulator that it was probably on. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. Well, when you're building a region, it's you mainly got to consider viewer performance more yeah. than actual region performance. Yeah, in, in a lot of cases. I mean, if you're designing a region or an experience, and it's a lot like what we do because that's what my team specializes in. Um, when we design a region, we take into account how many textures are loading. I'd just like to say a big, big thank you to Patch and Strawberry for taking time out of your busy schedule to support my campaign to raise awareness on what causes lag in Second Life and what we, the residents, can do to reduce any lag that we get to make our experience that much more enjoyable. We went on to discuss a little bit more about viewer lag, but I've not shown you that as I've already covered that in a previous tutorial. And if you'd like to see that, Click on the link about to appear now or click on the link in the description below. I hope you found this tutorial useful and it helps you clear up any issues you may be having. Until next time, stay virtual and stay lag free.